Oh, what's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. It's the Empire of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, we have been intercepted by the Native Americans. Literally the worst thing <laughs> that you can possibly have happen um, when it's the Native Americans. Because there's no deployment phase, you get going. So the only thing I have to count on is... An I need to find out which army is the reinforcing army because I'll have a bit of time for these guys to enter the fight. These guys are in the fight immediately, so they're the priority. But let's get going. This is so there's going to be no. So what some people would do is they would press pause and they would do all the deployment, you know, off screen. Well, not off screen, but you know, during, during the the, the time that you've paused the battle. I'm I don't really like that. I like the AI. I like the AI's done an interception. And it's going to be an ambush, isn't it? I mean, it might not be. It probably is. Oh no! Okay, right. Okay, 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 right. Two. Okay. Quickly. Set up back to back. Oh no. The guns. Try set up. Cavalry. Just form back to back. Just form back to back. I know they're all coming in from. Uh oh. Native warrior auxiliary, engage the chief's bodyguard. Okay, right, 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 right. We got a, we got a chance. We got a chance. Where's my helmet? It's great right now. Colonial militia commit. So those are warriors coming in. Okay, let's try hobble a musketman. Looks like we might have them actually a bit, a bit uh, off kilter. Just, I uh, just deploy the guns. Guns shoot every which way you can. Let's try knock out some units. Bowman. Hey, let's. Okay, this is going to be a messy quick. Okay, let's bring the cavalry back over on the other flank. You men engage that bowman. You men engage those bowmen. You men engage that bowman. Need to charge the rear of this war society. Native American mercenaries are upset, but now they're going to get involved in the combat here. I'm going to hope. The cuirassier intercept the general's bodyguard. I need to hope this light cav. Oh, yes, breakthrough. Chattered, 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 chattered. Uh oh. Yoinks! Sorry, artillery. We barely knew ye. Kill them. Excellent. Format. Keep killing them. Clean your line, clean your light cow. Need to war auxiliary engage the chief's bodyguard because you're going to not do anything else if I don't hurry up. Okay, right. That's where the reinforcements coming in from. Form a second rank. Bow unit. Shattered, shattered. Come in after the bows. Still broken. Kill them. They're knocking out our artillery, which is fine. Yeah, that's to be expected. So let's bring my mercenaries. Oh, no, I was hoping. Oh, they, we, oh this, there's a cavalry behind our line. Okay, you need to come back, cavalry. 
you know, stay away from the medicine men. You need to hit the bowmen here. Cavalry burn through. On your line, commit into the lancers. Ah, oh, we were doing what we were doing okay, but I think we're gonna crumble. We don't have any safe areas. No, we don't have any. We don't have any safe areas. We're just engulfed in all directions. Damn and blast. So close. Keep the muscular auxiliary moving. Okay, let's see if we can recover some troops. Oh no, see look. We routed them, but they're coming back, and that's the worst thing we want. That's the last thing we wanted to happen. That's my artillery. Oh, yeah, they're done for. Take advantage of the op take advantage of the sacrifice of your comrades. Colonial line, book it. Let the mercenaries hold the line. Run, run. Fly, you fools! We were doing well. We were doing well. No, run. Oh, too bad. See, this is the frustrating thing. Is the cavalry... When, my, when I chase routing cavalry with my infantry, they don't stop and chinwag. They just run. They don't stick around. They run. Whereas mine apparently go, oh no, let's not do that. Let's. Okay, there goes the artillery. Ah. Oh. There was a period there I thought I got away with it. But then they started being able to bounce around my lines. You got more of my army out than I expected. Get you the hell out of Dodge. Begin recruiting and let's start immediately. Actually, no, we've, already, we've got plenty of reinforcements on the go anyway, like you guys. I know you're garrisoning Iroquois territory. Right, so we've got you fellows. Uh -huh. So need to be careful who we pick. Not all of them can go the distance, but you can get to Albany. No, oh, no, they intercepted us. That's fine. Let's go get them. We got a, a few infantry. Well, our infantry is going to be better drilled than theirs, so it's going to be more dangerous. We've got a bit more cavalry, and one as we will have better artillery. Well, eh, it's pretty similar artillery, but we'll use ours better. Will nullify their infantry, will destroy their cavalry, and then their superior infantry is kind of useless. That's the master plan. There you go, so you men form up. This is quite a dangerous uh, force to attack. Although I know they attack us, so we may well go on the offensive if they elect to. If they elect to stay still. Looks like they are. In which case, we will close distance rapidly to minimize our exposure to your artillery. And it is only horse artillery as well. They are booking it. So let my native, my tribal auxiliary go first, because they can take pot shots at the colonial light. There we go. Got a few kills. Maybe better off engaging their line. Let's 
smash the colonial militia. Actually, let the Troyum Auxiliary keep pushing. They've got a unit of, of line infantry out on the flank, but I don't really care about them. You men smash a colonial militia unit. Get my artillery to slam home against their infantry line. Fire by rank is going to do some damage. No, don't shoot into the combat. Pursue the 24th. The 10th light horse is shattered. You wanted this. Quebec. You're the one that said, hey, let's intercept. Let's intercept the uh, Grand Colombians. That's a great idea, isn't it? That's what you said. Let's see if we can shatter them before our guys break. Yeah, there we go. And let's try and send both our cavalry units to pursue this colonial line unit. Target the artillery fire. The colonial line is going down rapidly. Make sure my natives don't aren't shooting at things. Excellent. Send all my cavalry to focus on their line infantry units. To so you. We are going to continue. For darn sure. Ceasefire. I'll fire the artillery. I'm not colonial militia, colonial line. Killed the enemy general. It's always nice. My native troops are going to kill the 15th regiment of foot. Excellent. Chase them down, destroy them. There you got him. Let's go help the 24th. Well, let's go, go help kill the 24th because all their men are spread up everywhere. See, they're all scattered around here, they're over there. See, there's five left, but there's three of them. Although these are the last men remaining. Kill them. Kill the last one. Random guy. No, he ran away. Either way, good victory. Push them back. They will be supported in due course by our other forces and potentially additional forces. Ah, Philadelphia's not recruiting anything. Um, but what we can do, which might be pretty fun, is if I take this sloop, I think... You've got, all your, you've got all your movement, but it doesn't really matter. You can take... Can you... Can this sloop go down to the river? No. You men can go here, block that army. You, they can't quite get to Montreal. You can get to Montreal. Hold it for now. Because... I just used up my master plan. It was to send send an army up to Fort Nashway. Um, but obviously I can't do that now because I moved them to block off this force. Well, in the grand scheme, it's the it's a good move. Um, it's protecting this force attacking Montreal from additional attack. You, are, you're in a bad way. 393, though. New model bayonet drills on the way. Wealth of Nations on the way. We're not going to have a modern university for a while. Actually, I'll build it next turn. I probably I should have been building it already. We're on the way to go and take the last French territory. They are sallying out of Montreal. Brave. But let's do it. It's an almost an entirely militia army. So even though we're depleted, we can sit back, uh, defend our position and send them scuttling back inside. We've got plenty of infantry. Even though it's depleted, it's still good better than the militia and we've got a good amount of artillery 
We're gonna be just fine. So let's back up onto this where the land starts to slope upwards. Go. One gun. Second gun. Or gun team. Yeah, it's not a bad force. Attacking it would be dicey, but defending it's fine. So I put my bows on the left. Bows. Actually, keep my my native wing on the left. Cavalry's a bit useless. Set the howitzers up, ready to rock and roll. Yep, yeah, come and get us. This is your deal. What we're going to do is we're going to get all my artillery to focus on making a breach in the event that they spend a lot of time kind of wandering around. We may be able to go in and kill their artillery. But yeah, they they they're the ones who sallied, so if their plan is to deploy at the back here, they're not gonna fool me. I'm not some stupid AI. We're gonna make a breach and then see what you guys are doing. You guys gonna go inside? Yep, you are. Oh, for God's sake, AI. Why are you doing this? Let's make a second breach. Oh, you can't reach that one. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm going to chop the recording until the AI decides what they're going to do. I could attack, but I'm curious to see if the AI... Have they sallied, realised we can't win this fight, we're not going to attack, and then they're going to insta-lose. So I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see if that happens. So I'll see you in a second, everyone. So for reasons best loaned themselves, they sent three militia units forward, and I thought, well, I'm not going to turn the recording on for that. I'm just going to let things happen, because what's the point in doing that? But after they got annihilated, that's when they decided... Holy moly, fellas. There's bad guys out there. And now they're starting to push towards us. Where previously they were not interested in their entire infantry force is surging forward. We're going to go take out their horse artillery unit. How it's is going to bombard these militia units that have returned from routing. It's a light cavalry unit back there that may be a bit dangerous for us. Kill some cavalry, They're wavering. Gun team destroyed. Is that going to be the end of their Dragoons? Yes, it is. Both those militia units have shattered. Oh, cavalry's come back, but will it stay coming back? Nope, they're shattered too. So I'm going to keep playing this at top speed until the next... until the AI decides, actually, we do need to move up. We can't just sit here, because that's down. They're wavering because they're under artillery fire. Okay, now we're just going to start getting into some action. Although are these guys going to very nicely just march into range of our muskets. Dodging artillery fire. Here they come. Let's make it into the trees. Never see us. <laughs> He's not even got the trumpet to his mouth. Okay, howitzers start shelling 
the new units in range. Let's still speed up though, because right now we are just. Hey, how it's just shooting at us. How are they doing that? I suspect they actually aren't doing that. They're probably landing their shells short. Okay, let's take this Clino Dragoon unit back behind our lines, because I suspect they might be going for the Dragoons. So if I move them in, they might go, ah, oh, they're over here now. Okay, keep bombarding. Still going to increase speed. Because it appears, I mean, they've still got some stuff back here. A bit of cavalry, some artillery. Still got artillery sat inside, so this is kind of what I was thinking about. Blowing a breach in the wall. Are you actually going to scoot around the flank on the extreme edge? If you are, then both of my howitzers are going to go for you. Thin your numbers out some, then my cavalry will deal with you. They, they run eagerly into canister range. Get them. Same with you men, by the time you've reloaded. Actually go for the... Oh, it doesn't matter. They're both chaff units. They go, they've changed their mind. They're not going to go around. Oh, or have they? Shattered. Perfect. Engage the second regiment. Blast them. Nope, they are coming around. can just do this. Don't even have to waste my cavalry, just redeploy them, retarget the howitzers against the larger infantry targets. So I don't want to lose my cavalry quickly, because I'm gonna need them to knock out these dragoons at the back. Oh no, no, too late. I accidentally take limber up, so they're going to limber up. Very well. How it's just provide a bit more close support on the right flank. While these guys get everything set up, and then they have to <laughs> unlimber it all again. going forwards. Come back to where you were. Yep, yeah, they've been dealt with. Keep showing the block. Here comes the Dragoons. In which case then, howitzers go for the dragoons. Start chipping away at some of them. Oh my only artillery piece. Okay, we might actually go on the offensive on the left. 
Now is the time to strike. Let's combine my cavalry. Now it's probably the time to advance, you know, across the board, but let's just be a bit more restrained. Ooh, just a second. Sorry, I got a bit getting a bit croaky there. Uh, right. But yeah, you could probably advance all the way across the line, but I'm not going to do that. Not just yet, we've got a pretty solid base of fire. Although... Things are looking well. Just, just, just push up. Things are things are fine. It's incredibly overcautious to be concerned right now. Chase them away. You can't run away from us forever. Send my native troops into the fort. Because it would appear we are going to end up securing it. You can't run forever. I see you over there. Both the helmets is worth on the fifth. Let's get my cavalry to run down the plank. Oh, they're all wavering. They're all very upset. This is what happens when you don't defend yourself. Chased away that unit on the flank. Yeah, they're being engulfed. Squeeze forward a little bit more. You're not getting back inside, see? You men chose the wrong time to limber up. Get the howitzers to drop shells in on the center. And to be honest, you all could do with pushing up. Or if anything, you guys can do this and we can almost trap them. You guys have to take the gate. You can't get. You can't go straight out because you don't own it. Excellent. I mean, they've got to break soon, right? They've been cleared off. Then what? What I would do is then I'd use these guys to either bolster the right flank or, in theory, take the town. But a bit symbolic at the moment, really. Hello, we've taken, we've taken the fort. Although it doesn't count as us taking, actually taking the fort. Artillery ceasefire. Fourth regiment of dragoons are going to have at it. Kill the commander of the defence.
good stuff. Try kill the general. We've killed seven men out of seventeen. There we go. go on, kill the commander. Commander of the defenses. Got him. Excellent. That kind of backfired, didn't it, Quebec? That backfired a lot. Yeah, you're going to still cause problems. Oh no, no. Oh no, I don't want to fight this. Go, go, gadget auto resolve. Ah, we lost loads of money. Plenty more where they come from. Good on the Huron, though. I do. Obviously, as much as my objective is to try and win as much as possible, it is. I do like getting my ass handed to me by the AI, because it means that they've still got some surprises. So let's see. So this is why, strictly speaking, you might send a small reconnaissance force ahead to scout and look for ambushes and so on. But it's almost always not necessary, so you never end up doing it. But it's cool when the AI does it, so I don't I don't mind kind of having that exp that experience. It's fun, personally. Especially when you've got like when you've got as much money coming in as I have, you just don't really you're not really that worried. I mean, Austrian raiding is that's not great because that caused quite a lot of uh, economic problems for me. It got me thirteen thousand last turn. Auto there. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be done for. No peace. No peace allowed, sir. Are you gonna do anything proactive against the Austrians, Ottomans, or are you just gonna kind of? Hang around and just be slack and not super useful. You know, you go raid a Russian harbour, that's useful. Kind of. Not to me right now. Actually, that might be detrimental to me. I might be trading with the Russians. Yeah, I think those... We need to kind of go deal with those Austrian ships. Because if we've got another turn of 13,000, that means they're choking off about 20,000 a turn of revenue. Which, at uh, this part of the campaign, is a big deal. Sweden's gonna Sweden takes Finland. Let's see how much do we get? Twenty five thousand. We still get some, but not a not a huge amount. Fourth rate, two fourth rates. Okay. You don't need a full, maybe. That's probably well, that will be fine. We're gonna send you guys. Hang on, Buccaneers to garrison the port. You guys are going to go for a raid in the Atlantic and try and capture those ships. This is just quite a beefy navy. You want to keep for reserves. New nation arises. <gasps> Poland, Lithuania. Uh, back. Poland, Lithuania never lasts ever in this game so i really want to see it i really want to see it do well so i'm going to give him five grand and a bunch of tech i want them to survive war declared between the barbary states that's fine okay so in terms of priority tax Uh, let's get the university upgraded. So that's going to cause you to be very upset. Let's upgrade the theatre. Let's also recruit a unit of dragoons because dragoons have garrison policing bonus. Good old draconian techniques, but they're a bit they're more more efficient at maintaining public order. Okay, let's build a commercial base and then back north. You men ret retreat. Only the general's alive in his unit. I mean, you guys, uh, you need to, you need to garrison Cayuga, otherwise you're gonna collapse and die. So pull back entirely. You're doing fine. 
you're potentially going to try cause trouble, so let's go this way. I mean, you men can just go up to Fort Nashwak, get there in two turns, and you'll be more than enough to take it. Effectively, that means you guys can just knock out these raiders. Let's get some of these Quebec buildings repaired. You men are in good condition. Let's get you men replenished. Okay, you men are in good condition. Let's just knock out Quebec. I imagine they've probably not got a... There's not going to be a breach in the wall. Well... In, you think in theory there should be, but it can kind of be a bit hit and miss. Sometimes the damage is repaired super quick, sometimes it appears to take forever. But you know, if we have to make another one, that's fine. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to troll my, how it, my foot artillery up to here. You could attack it from a different direction, because apparently the fort has reoriented itself, because this is definitely not this hilly from this direction. How it says just take shots at range. My North American mercenaries are going to go in the breach, supported by... I mean, actually no, just the native warrior auxiliary. You got a detachment and some of my native skirmishers are going to push the right. Another detachment are going to push from the left and go for the rear. Dragoons will just take their whatever position they get. Just shoot at whatever you want, to be honest, how it says. Both artillery. Actually, can you shoot from there? You could, but you want to go here. Let's get, yeah, let's focus on the, the uh, section of the wall. Try and make another breach. It looks like they are going to leave this rear quadrant alone. Oh no, they aren't. Quite the opposite. Excellent. When my guns are in position, they will also attack that section of the wall. These men are sneaking up stealthily, nice and hidden. Got the long grass in the trees. Form up, sir. Excellent. Limber. Limber. Interesting. Enemy cavalry is coming out. Gunners engage the wall as well. Let's knock a hole in that sucker. That's a bit of a, a bit of a bad idea. Because you're just sending guys up on top of the wall, and I'm not even gonna try and scale it. Get my general up here, he can watch from the trees. the time to commit you guys. So 
one unit to scale the wall. Native warriors charging with an immediate support from one and two units of mercenaries. One unit can maintain awareness at the gates. Two infantry units can cover the other breach. Another infantry unit can try scale the walls. To be honest, a bunch of all the rest of these guys can try scale the walls, except for the musketman auxiliary. Well, to be honest, you guys may also just run in because they appear to be entirely willing to let us push. So you men form up here. Get away from the get away from the breach. Charge the center. Excellent. You men just charge in actually. Everyone get in. So to be honest, you men just secure the gatehouse, these men will stack up to come in on foot. Put artillery cease fire. Pity about the native warrior auxiliary. They may come back. So you men attack the first regiment. You men just try run through, see if that's possible. These units attack. The bowmen are going to scale the walls. Give the order for the cavalry. Actually, you men, cavalry, get over here. As soon as we capture this, we can get out. We can get in. No, come on, you men. You're going to make it. You're going to make it to the centre. You're going to start contesting. You're all stuck. You're engaging the first regiment. You men, get up here. You're going to get on the centre and then you're going to form square. There you go, my native warriors are starting to hack at the militia on the walls. Let's run my general over here, see if he can bring them back. Inspired by nearby unit, but not enough. men kill that last dragoon. Yeah, nice. That's a nice wall defence you've done there. Ninth Regiment of Militia. Actually, let's position you as a blocking unit here. You as a blocking unit here. There we go, we brought back the native warrior auxiliary. And they are actually impetuous, they're raring to go. The colonial line and my native troops are going to secure the wall. Push, push, push. You men are going to break around the flank and hit the 10th. I mean, there's only 30 seconds left to go before the city is taken. But we are going to squeeze you. Ceasefire. You can fire the ninth. That's fine. They'll all be, they'll all be our prisoners soon. There we go. Montreal is taken, and that is Quebec. 
destroyed. Another... Uh, oh, no, not entirely. Main. Next turn, Quebec is destroyed. Let's do some replenishment, because you may counterattack. And that's not a bad army. You're not close enough. I'm not going to attack them. I want to wait to see what they do. Because otherwise this army is going to be ripe to drive west against the Huron again. I um, don't think there's anything immediate to do. No tech to sort out. Let's hit enter. Oh, Santa Fe. <laughs> Just kill them. We probably want to send our spy. Uh, yes, Salter is all of you, please. Yeah, the Royal Navy, the Brits are doing really quite well. And Quebec has not, has elected to not um, attack London, even though they have two armies right freaking there. Oh, my, my navy in the Far East, I remember. Okay, I could really do with taking Iceland as a European outpost to protect Colombian trade. To rain ships into the Atlantic and secure the flow of Colombian goods and goods and I was going to say goods and services um, to the rest of the empire and the rest of the world. Here comes the Marathas. They are oh, they've taken Ceylon. Cool. Bit of a bummer because I was I was interested in doing that and the AI doesn't normally do that. But you know what? That's okay. Mixing things up is perfectly fine. Poland, you want an alliance? You're offering money? You want tech? Okay, I'm going to give it to them. I'm already at war with Austria. Yep. You know what? I'm going to do it. It's, it this could... This is a campaign defining moment it could embroil me in a massive war but I think I really like Poland Lithuanian Empire to the war I want them to survive for as long as possible I want to see the winged, his winged hussars I really want to see them even if it's to kill them later in the campaign I still want to see them trouble is though they've without a, without a port the only way we can really help them is through trade income, unless we want to properly fund them. Privateer in a sixth rate, but you're you're able to do, to deal with them. Bring bring the sixth rate into our service. And reclaim the trade post. I believe though most of the yeah the they've actually bled. Okay, come back. Iron Masters works. Water power cloth mill coaching in. So, actually, we've got a bit of time to build up a force to beat Huron. This is a good start. So, you require two more of those, one more howitzer. So you need, that's for seven units being recruited. Yeah, that'll be enough. That's fine. We don't need to necessarily rush to kill the Huron. They're not an immediate priority. I mean, you're not a priority either, Montreal, to build, have this theatre. Nor having military governor's barracks here. That's not a priority. Let's build some better roads. army can replenish. Let's send our rake up to Moose Factory to see what's going on up there. You're going to take Fort Nashwack. Oh, we researched... Oh, we got selective breeding from Poland. That's why all of our farms are eligible for upgrades. I see. 
So in theory, if you were going to optimize this, you would look for the towns that you want to develop fastest into going into creating more towns, but I'm not really at that. No, I'm kind of past that now, really. So this is a garrison force. Looking at holding off potential Texan um, maneuvers. So now, France, do you want peace? You can just leave me alone. Good. So now all those troops are gone. Rebuild the city. Can't fully replenish. Let's send a rake to Texas. Just to keep an eye on what's going on. So probably one of these armies is definitely going to head towards Moose, Moose Factory. We can engulf the Huron from two different directions. But first, a relatively unnamed captain, Hieronimo Martinez, is going to have the honour of taking the Quebec Quebecian... Capital. Quebecois. Capital. And we will take it and bring it into the Empire. And then we've got an interesting discussion on who our next target is. I still think it's going to be... We'll first take Iceland, then it's going to be take Portugal and Spain, and eventually, with an eye on eventually, fighting Britain. Because Britain owns a large number of American colonies. So I was curious, because we've got artillery, will they will they actually come to come to us and throw themselves onto our muskets? And it looks like the answer is yes. Rather than fighting through the town, just Yep, they're coming. Oh boy, they're coming. Although they are, the bulk of them are on the flank, so... Let's do a bit of the old... ...manoeuvre. Just to present the proper angle. Yeah, they're all moving through the town, you can see it on the map. They're all heading our way. Good artillery fire. No real targets. It looks like it's all militia and citizenry. Let's get the howitzer. Get the, get the howitzer too. Pick at the colonial line all the way at the back as the general. Foolish fellow. You within canister range? Now you are. Blast him! Got a shootout against the militia, but that's fine. Maybe let's use my howitzers a bit more close to home to support that engagement. Shattered. Perfect. Pivot to maximise firepower. Here comes the armed citizenry. That's right, just a little bit further. Just a little bit more. That's right. Fairly ragged volley. Superior marksmanship coming back at them. It's so beautiful. Switched around shot. Bombard. Burn your line. Let the howitzers keep picking at them because they're on the flank now, a bit awkward. Actually, blast the pile of armed citizenry. Wow. 
by trying a different position. Just drift within range, there we go. Now the 78th has a shot. Excellent. There they go. See, they've come back on the flank. And you manage to squeak it around just a bit to the edge. Wavering. Good shots coming in. Third Two guys to may as well commit. Second unit just to brush them away. So right now this unit's not doing anything. I want to send your general in, eh? Blast him! So the 41st will deal with this regiment for darn sure. They're going to break. Here comes the general. Oh, it's uh, dropped some shells onto the first regiment of foot. Excellent hit, right in the middle of the formation. And they're immediately wavering. Will the general survive a musketry? Three units ready to fire. Good hits. You want to look the other way, chump? Otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Oh no, he's forward thinking. He's a hero when you're running anyway. We're going to get up the hell out of here. Away. Charging? You want to go? You'll go. Artillery oh, ceasefire. Killing them. Teach them what it means to stand against us. Okay, now push up with your muskets. General is right in the middle. There he is. How are the shells coming in? Ooh, that looks good. Just a bit long. Or oh, a cannon shell. Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. This empire is not worth dying for. I agree. The French are stupid. Okay, the Grand Colombians are much better. Spanish Empire, best empire. Yes. Let's get cracking. Boom. Can't fix it. There goes that Quebecian army. So you, good sir, march on Rupert's land. You take position... Actually, no, you're fine to build up against the Huron. You may march to Maine. You may be the detachment that secures Iceland for our empire. But let's hit end turn, because we can't build anything. Yeah, Britain's going to cause us problems.
Hmm, what you're up to. They're gathering a fleet to go do something. Probably gonna interfere with us in the trade zones, I expect. Russia wants a military alliance. How do you feel about Poland and Lithuania? I mean, you're all allied. Enemies of Austria, France, Savoy, Sweden. Yeah, you know what? Let's... Us being allies maybe helps keep Poland alive. It may allow Poland... Well, it may cause Prussia to not want to destroy Poland. Well, that's a whole army. That's not good. That's probably going to be heading our way. That is the AI MO to a T. And it's probably going to go for the Windward Islands or something like that. Let us uh, make them make our garrisons a bit more robust. Sweden's doing more raiding. 40,000 this turn. Excellent. Okay, Montreal, build a magistrate. Air for Nashwak. Upgrade roads across the board. Ha! Huh, that's where you are, is it? Let's not go mad. I want to bring these guys back. My big navy. Go back in York, Yorktown. Let's get some more third rates. They're still slowly converting. Not so that recruitment's just going to tick on automatically. Let's just check roads. Good, good, good. Arms, um, more goods to trade. You know what? Be happy, why not? So you want farms to upgrade here. We've got a dry dock up here. That's not terrible. Let's get a sloop up here. That's not. We want to be. We want to get this port upgraded to trade, or to be able to trade from in forty odd turns. Let's send this rake up to Agbiktuk. See what's going on in the Inuit regions. Eleven thousand. Okay. Okay, I think we do a turn of artillery building. You probably need the militia more. We'll just drop them off the coast, that's okay. Oh, come on, just dock, drop them off the side. We still have our army down here ready to respond, which is real important. I don't like how you're building up, because you've got a military governor's barracks, you can actually recruit proper, proper stuff. Let's invest in another turn's worth of infantry down here. You're on your way to the border towns. Let's try another farm. Let's try to find another farm to upgrade, although I fear I may have got them all. No, no, I haven't. One's on Cuba, obviously. One more turn till we get seed drills. That's going to really help. Ah, oh, it's going to reduce the cost of build. I've just built them all. Oh, dear, oh dear. Uh, 
Let the recruitment all continue. Yeah, the force that's on the Texas border isn't really about stopping them. It's just about providing a bit of a road bump to Mexico if they attempt to go after us over land. So I wonder if the Marathans will come after us. Or will they go after someone else? Will they go completely unpredictable and land in Europe? Oh yeah, the Austrians are going to go screw with us. In the trade zones. So those navies I've been building, we're going to have to put them to work. Capture as many Austrian ships as they can. Bring them back. I think we need to perpetually keep sidling money over towards Poland just to keep them keep them growing. Oh here they get yeah, somewhere oh they're somewhere in the uh in the hidden zones. Ah oh, Portugal, you devil. Haha, <laughs> you suckers. Bye bye. Well, I think I think I do need to start building up trade fleets and keep them get them uh, rotating again. So, you know, send them out. Well, once they get damaged, ship them ship a replacement out. Keep it moving like that. See, they're back. I can't do anything about it. And there. Seed planting drill. Okay, so don't go on steam pump land drainage. Go on to punch card loom. Okay, come on, Montreal. Got to get you spiffed up a bit. I mean, you're going to get to Rupert's land before my spiders, but I imagine that it's just going to be pirates. So that you're going to push on up to York Factory. But the trouble is, I'm not at war with the Maratha Confederacy, am I? No. They're at war with Portugal. They're allied with all these people. If they want to go to war with me, that could be quite a significant development. And it's probably not the time to send this navy out, but I'm going to do it anyway. Try getting into trouble. Okay, let's create. Don't get Admiral's flagship. Third race. Okay, you're my top tier fleet. You can recruit two more ships and then you'll be done. So then let's recruit Admiral's flagship first rate. Then a heavy first rate, because we need to just keep pumping money into shipbuilding. You are nearly at full strength. That's probably going to be enough. So you men are going to push up. Oh, I need to repair. Go back to port as well. So you men get on board. Ooh, you're not in range. Make a little space in Boston. Oh, it's okay. you're on your way. I suppose I could do you do with having an agent in Europe. Your troops are on the way. Minus one. Interesting why they're minus one. Have you not got the population? 72,000. You should be okay. But let's... First of all, let's... Distribute some more artillery. It's part of the reason why these garrisons start to really 
add up in cost is that you think are these territories worth spending all these resources to protect at any at any one time most of the time the answer is no you're better off having an army sat ready to respond to wherever the threat comes from rather than building up an army but you know what where's the fun in that i mean i do that all the time so i suppose there is some fun in it but this time let's try and be a bit more quote realistic well i'm very much over the time limit now so let's need to get ready to end the episode so if Austria doesn't do something I'm gonna do something I guess I'll probably just finish all the building work spend all my money then hit end turn I suppose They want to attack us. They want to do it. Dominaremos la sola. Yeah, I need to bring you back. They want to attack us. They just do. But I don't know if they're... Are they thinking it's a bad idea? I mean, Portugal, yeah, I was about to say. They're going to go after us la now. Flota está yeah. Perdida. Yep, I need more naval power. Because that's going to be more of those slots going to be taken up by neutral factions. I just need more ships. Twenty-six thousand, fairly minor hit. Heroic death. Oh my name, my admiral. Yes. Okay, so I we'll probably want. Let's put them down here. Well, you're building the star of another big navy. You go for four threats. Why can I not? Population too low. I see. Well, Yorktown are building my heavy ships. Ooh, palatial estates. They'll suck up some money. Well, there you go. That's that's a fleet. They can say sit over here. Stay at sea. Get ready, ready to be used. Um, I can build ships out of regular ports, but military ports are better. I've got. They're all in use, and one of them is in somewhere that's not super useful to have one. So let's boost. Boston's growth. Providence is going to grow. That might become a military harbour. Maybe. Yeah, see, they all build one. You can build, like, one every two turns. Compared to this is building th th um, three in two turns. Mm. Just keep churning out ships, I think. I'm not going to have the money to do a lot else. Go on then. Send my agent first. See if you can see anything. Yeah, just a small rebel territory being raided by the Huron. Get the army replenished. You can raid if you like, but we've got a whole bunch of people heading your way. Or that will be heading your way. Um, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>